Happy Nonprofit is helping emerging fashion designers get their start without having to outsource overseas. Steve Nielsen is out there to find out about what this organization is doing. Good morning once again, Steve. How are you? Good morning, guys. Good to hear you. Um, yeah, so we are here at this business incubator. It's called Fabric in downtown Tempe. It's really cool. I've been talking to the two co-founders of Fabric, and they're also telling me about different ways they're actually helping out local hospitals right now. We're going to get to that in just a second. I first want to start with Angela, just to kind of tell us about this huge warehouse space we're in right now. What goes on in here? Oh, wow. A lot. So <laughs> this is actually a fashion incubator, and what we do here is we help fashion designers, brand owners, and anybody with a really good idea for a sewn product. We basically design, develop, manufacture. We also provide a runway space, offices, um, classrooms, classes. We have a photo studio, we have makeup and hair rooms, we have a library. It's literally everything that a fashion designer or brand owner would need under one roof so they don't have to leave Arizona to go to the fashion cities to find everything that they need. And we've got a few designers uh, on camera right now as they're starting to get ready here on a Saturday morning, start working on a few things. So if I just had an idea of, I want to start doing this, this is a business I want to launch, is this cool new jacket that I think is going to be great. I come and talk to you guys and we start building a business together, is that the idea? Exactly. So the idea is that if you don't know what you're doing, if you've never done this before, that's that's easy. <laughs> and that's actually like 90% of people that walk in this door, because now that you can sell direct to consumer on a website, you could have this great idea for a sewn product, but you might not have any knowledge of how to get it made. And you might not have the resources if you don't live in a fashion capital. So this idea is allowing people with great ideas to be able to make their products here and to develop them and to get the hand holding that it takes to actually go through the whole entire um, process of getting something manufactured, which is very complex. It's engineering. It's it's a lot of architecture. It's a lot of complex things that need to happen. And so we're here to hold people's hands and to help them. So people with great ideas, like the designers that are here today, that is a brand called Naked Rebellion. They actually make undergarments for every shade of nude, so it can match every skin tone, which was a need that needed to be filled. And they're doing it because of a place like this. And this is happening right here in downtown Tempe. And what's cool too is. You get to work alongside people like that too. So you're all kind of crafting and working on ideas together. Yeah, so we've actually helped about 450 brands in three years since we've been here, thanks to the city of Tempe allowing us to use their beautiful building to, to execute all of this. It's 26,000 square feet of resources and helping tons and tons of people. I mean, you can imagine with all of those businesses, how many um, employees they have and, and how that impacts the economy here in Arizona. So we're really, it's a movement and it's a community. And, and my, my partner, Sherry, likes to call it a social cooperative enterprise, public enterprise. So it's it's a mix of the uh, our nonprofit. We have a nonprofit here. It's a mix of the community. It's a mix of the government helping us and for-profits all coming together to pull this off. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Angel. We appreciate it. And we, you just mentioned Sherry. Let's go and talk to Sherry because uh, good morning, Sherry. We, uh, we were just kind of chatting before we got started here, and you mentioned how you guys are actually starting to help local hospitals because there's a huge need right now with um, all these COVID cases around in our state. As Angela said, we did form a nonprofit here, so we have a passion to help people, and we're also very creative, so we wanted to pivot. We know that there's a huge need in our healthcare and first responder community to have safe PPE, which stands for personal protective equipment. And because we have expert pattern makers and sewers and we can source materials and trims, it's really important that these are FDA equivalent so they're safe. So we received this gown from a hospital and we source materials and trims. This is one of our first samples for a gown and we're going to be able to start making these so that we can help our healthcare providers and first responders. And because we have a community, we believe we can organize that community and we can really fill a big gap in this right now. There is a need you've heard from uh, DHS and other um, other states as well. Yeah, there's, there's actually a worldwide shortage and you know, this is something that we have to fill because our healthcare workers need to be safe. And we can do it. We have this expertise. So this is great. So this is Fabric, this great business incubator that's going on in downtown Tempe. In the meantime, you guys are also a nonprofit that's really helping out all of these local hospitals in all these situations here. That's great, Sherry. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Angela, thank you so much. Um, thanks for inviting us in here to this huge warehouse. Uh, they also have a runway here because they do everything here. I was going to do a little runway fashion show for you guys, myself, but 
I'm not feeling it. I, don't, I can't do it. Come, come on. Maybe just a quick... No. Just a little twirl. A, a, little, a runaway twirl. Just we need a smile. We need a laugh. Yeah. Please. Come on. <sighs> do it. Oh, oh peer yeah. pressure. Oh, you yeah. always succumb to peer pressure, Anita. Here, Here we go. go. All right, let's see it. Okay, so it's just walking, right? That's yeah, all. No, it's a strut. Yeah. You have okay. to strut. 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 You just... Oh, come on. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Like the oh, first yeah, time you, you saw your wife and you were right. like, oh, yeah. And now here's the hard part. It, it's the pivot. Yes. Okay, let's see it. Oh. oh. You never cease to impress us, Steve. That's pretty good. Um, and let's see. This is, um, what is this here? I'm wearing Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> um, you're the next <laughs> fashion nisto. I think you're going to have I the next cover so. of Vogue. There you go. <laughs> Thank wow. you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Thanks.